Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. Sorry for the um, time it's been taking um, to get this uh, car done. This is just going to be a real quick update video. Um, just because I've had a lot of things, a lot of you guys know I did have a lot of flooding and stuff in my basement. Um, that has taken a whole bunch of my time. Um, I'm not doing the work personally, but... Um, the work is actually getting done and it's, it's just taking longer than what it should. It is now coming to an end, which is a good thing. Um, I don't really have to worry about it anymore. But the reason why I'm making this video is just to let you guys know why um, my videos have been taking so long in between. Uh, I think it's been like now going to be two weeks since my last video. Um, so I'd rather just let you guys know what's going on and keep you guys in the loop. Um, let's actually go check out this work that's been done. All right, let's go check this out. So this is my basement. Um, as you see, we've torn out a lot of drywall. Um, things were were soaked. I mean, super, super high. So there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of dirt and nastiness going on. Um, this is the kitchen downstairs. So you see we got a lot of, a lot of breaking of drywall. This is just um, a lot of, a lot of mess that you could only imagine uh, was all around. I did lose a lot of MR2 parts on this flood. Um, this is actually gonna be the third flood this year. Um, as you see, these are just a whole bunch of parts that I have here. Um, dashes, um, we have like the suede and leather uh, skins for the seats. I mean, I got, I got a ton of MR2 parts here, but as you guys can see, um, this is where I had my uh, MR2 parts initially, some carbon fiber stuff, some lights, um, center consoles, but as you guys can see, this has been a lot of work. Um, this is what was installed, so this is a ejector pump with a uh, flood control valve, so basically a like a little flap that controls the flooding, which I'm fine, um, now that I know that that's fixed, but this is kind of how it looks. This is kind of where we're at. So, I mean, there's still not, it's not complete because obviously you have to put back in the insulation and drywall. But this is kind of what I've been battling, guys. Just so you guys know just a little bit of uh, what's been going on so you guys can relate with me. Let me turn off these lights. So you guys can relate and, and take the time to understand what's going on. And I really, really want to apologize for... Um, the time that it's taking me to make some videos, but I think in about a week or so we should be back on par with everything so ideally um, We can go from there and finish up this uh, this red MR2 just because uh, it, It's gonna need to be done, but now let's go check out the garage All right guys, this is the main reason why I haven't made uh any changes or any repairs to the car because where we last left off we needed to change the uh, heater core holes that is leaking from that area right in front of the gas tank behind the rear firewall so that's where it's leaking so eventually we're gonna have to take down this this uh, tank again um, and get in it and and replace that heater core hose with this right here so we're gonna replace it with hose instead just so then we can have a full sealed system but this is the main reason why uh, look at look at the mess I have of parts carbon fiber parts to be exact too just because um, I had all these in my basement um, so yeah this is this is definitely the reason why I have uh, not been posting any videos but I just wanted to make this update video for you guys just so then you guys know and understand um, that I'm just not not doing them, but I, I there's a reason why I have not been doing them. But as you see, there's not enough room to do anything. In all honesty, so um, until that that uh, basement gets kind of fixed up a little bit as far as drying goes and and stuff like that, uh, I'm going to have to put the videos on a hold almost. Oh, here goes some. Wow, these can't fall. Um, yeah, the, the videos are going to kind of have to be on, on like a hiatus for a little bit. Um, just until I can get some room opened up downstairs. Just so then I can um, finish this car. Because this car is, is practically done. All we really have to do is that um, 
is that heater core hose. And at, after that heater core hose, then this car is ready to be sold. Um, with the very minimal things, like I gotta put these back, I gotta put the mirror back on this side. Um, Marco lost my handles with the locks, so now I have to find those, but um, that's gonna be another issue. But um, yeah, so, so far guys, this is kind of where we're at. So as you guys can see, this is the reason why I have not been or have a chance to uh, finish up this MR2. But guys, make sure you guys stay tuned, all right? It's gonna be happening soon. We're gonna finish this car real soon and then I got a lot, a lot of awesome new goodies coming. Ooh, what the, what the hell is that? I got a lot of awesome new goodies coming uh, for the V6. There's, there's gonna be hella stuff happening with this V6, guys. You guys are gonna be amazing. All you V6 guys, all you 3VZ guys, make sure you stay tuned because this is gonna be a series or episodes or however you want to call it with the new v6 mate with the new motor oh my god i'm so excited it's hard for me to even speak so for you v6 guys or your 3vz guys really want to stay tuned okay so this is kind of where i'm gonna leave it just because i got a lot of good things coming for that motor you guys are all gonna love it so please stay tuned guys and bear with me thank you again this is nasty addiction garage we build differently peace